What's up, guys? <gasps> it's your boy Ooch, and um, back again. What's How y'all doing? How y'all doing today? What's going on, guys? It's your boy Ooch. As always, we are here now to report on some really hype stuff that I haven't talked about on my channel in quite some time and that is Digimon now apparently and I was just made aware of this when these posts dropped earlier today was that Digimon is in its 20th anniversary and that is awesome to know that I am old but besides the point, the fact that Toei Animation is going out of their way to celebrate Digimon, um, obviously they're paying its respects and due diligence, I guess, because, you know, Digimon might not be as popular as Dragon Ball or One Piece, but granted, it is Digimon, and it's definitely one of those things that a lot of people grew up with and loved, much like myself. So what I'm here to reveal to you guys is, as the title of this video ensues, that we have two projects going on right now one kind of iffy and the other even more iffy and i'm kind of speculating and just going off of what little we know so far that yes we might be seeing a digimon adventure reboot but i digress let's get into the news bit of things first and foremost before we start speculating um really hard okay so right here nikufan.com now huh, this is something that no one ever expected to see nor did we ever want this or request this but you know what it's one of those things where sometimes in life the best things that you wouldn't expect to work together well are just Perfect. So MikuFan.com is the one that reported this earlier today, and it reads, A surprising collaboration between Hatsune Miku and Digimon Adventure for its 20th anniversary has been announced today. A collaborative illustration was released drawn by Atsuya Uki, character designer for Digimon Adventure Try, and the jacket designer of the Odds and Ends album by Supercell. So if you click that link right over here, um, the odds and ends for those that might not know, um, like, like myself, I, I, I like Hatsune Miku, but I don't really follow Hatsune Miku like that. I do, I have played some of the games in the past, but I'm guessing this is a CD and by jacket, they probably mean the album cover. So I guess that's another term for album cover if I'm correct here. Of course, as you can see, Hatsune Miku is literally wearing Tai's goggles and she's got a Digivice. And if you read further into the article, Atsuya Uki even leaves a little message for all of the Digimon fans out there. And they say, congratulations on your 20th anniversary, Digimon Adventures. I was asked to have Hatsune Miku and Agumon to reference the children suspended in the sky, one of the key visuals in the Digimon Tri anime. And actually, it is literally one of the key visuals, just like they say, bam, there it is. The Digimon Adventure Try, they're all suspended in the sky. So yeah, let's go. We're, we're going to do it like just like that. In addition, I included Tai Chi's goggles as well as Digivice, a symbolic bond with Digimon. Finally, butterflies are seen fluttering about in remembrance of the song Butterfly. So for those that don't know, the Japanese version of Digimon does not actually have the theme song that is iconic in my opinion. And it goes, Digimon, Digital Monsters. It doesn't have that at all. They don't have that. They actually have a song it's called Butterfly. It's actually really nice. It's really elegant. It has really good vibes attached to the song. It makes you feel good, okay? And this is obviously shown here with this visual, this graphic, a bunch of butterflies just floating about. Looks really nice, really pretty. Has a nice little uh, accent to the whole entire image overall. And then lastly, their wings are adorned with a faint Digimon uh, chick pattern. So yeah, this is um, also again, shout out to, uh, to Loser Bait, which is where the translations were provided by. Um, and then additional details of this collaboration will be announced later, so stay tuned. So again, I'm here to report this to you guys and to make y'all aware that Digimon ain't going nowhere, okay? I'm really glad that even after the adventure try that they're going to take it a step further and give us a collaboration, a crossover that I don't know if anyone even asked for, that anyone even anticipated, expected. I have never even thought and imagined to put Hatsune Miku with Agumon, with Digimon, with the cast. But you know what? Looking at this visual, looking at this graphic right here, I mean, come on. She looks like she's a part of the roster. She looks like she's a part of the cast and that they can literally just go off of this. Now, we don't know if this is going to mean, this means that they're gonna do like on an, an OVA or short film or some anime special or anything like that we might see something more realistically along the lines of maybe seeing some kind of 
Hatsune Miku remix, like Vocaloid remix of the Butterfly songs or any other Digimon songs from Adventure, possibly along those lines. But yeah, I'm thinking that it could possibly be some type of video game mashup or maybe just kind of some kind of um, CD or, or something like that with Hatsune Miku singing Digimon songs. Maybe that could be it. Um, it would be cool if, you know, we did have some kind of special episode where she was brought in and as a character, that would be hella dope. I would really love that and I'm sure a lot of other Hatsune Miku fans would love that too. Now, the next part of this news is something that I am going to start speculating on because this, this might right here, it looks so good, it could be an anime, but it might not actually be an anime, so that would be hella disappointing, but what this next bit is actually could be a reboot to the original Digimon Adventure. Now, off of the Toei Animation Twitter page, they revealed earlier today the next evolution begins. 2020, hashtag Digimon Adventure. Guys, this is no try. This is no sequel. This is not season two, three, Tamers, none of that, John. This is Digimon Adventure. We see the key visual right here. It is Tai Chi or Tai if you watch the English version, which I grew up on, of course. I'm referring to it as Tai Chi because I just read it in the last article. And Agumon, they're, sh they're holding their hands and, I and Tai got his goggles in his hands. So I'm not sure if this is necessarily um, going to be... Um, like some kind of like passing of the torch because look we can look at this image and like they say a picture is you know uh, can be made up for a thousand words a thousand meanings however the phrase goes and don't know if this is necessarily one of those things where it's something like Ty is gonna be passing out to someone else because if you look at the picture closely Ty is actually smiling so I'm not really sure if you know, we can take this and be like, oh, like this might be like it because they already did Adventure Try. Adventure Try was a direct sequel to the original Adventure. So since this is coming out next year, this is the 20th anniversary of Digimon, you have to all put all those things considered. I want to speculate and start taking some guesstimates here that this is actually going to be a reboot of Digimon. Now the the art style is a little bit different is a little different. Um, it is like watercolory, which is kind of cool. It almost gives me like a manga vibe, like, oh, they're about to make like a new manga for this too, but it's Toei Animation, so of course they are, you know, they are known for their anime, so I think that this is definitely safe to assume, or just to guess, not assume, that this is gonna be a reboot of the original Digimon Adventure. I mean, come on, they hashtagged it, Digimon Adventure, next evolution begins. So who knows, if it's a reboot, maybe they might introduce some new things to it, in addition to it just you know keeping the original story we don't know we're gonna have to find out we have to wait and see but the one thing that i do want to talk about really quick before we go is that i hope that with this new reboot if it is a reboot whatever it is i really do hope that they get the rights or whatever they gotta do to utilize the original american digimon theme song now i know that since this is you know an original japanese anime that they're obviously probably going to be do reusing butterfly they did it for digimon adventure try and we are here now in the current time and we are hoping that they use it for this one because for those that don't know this is a kind of a minor spoiler if you have not seen digimon adventure try they only use Butterfly. And even for the American version, when they did the dubs, they kept Butterfly and they did not give us our original theme song, which I felt kind of disappointed and I was very let down. And I went, I paid my ticket. I supported the industry by going to see this movie in theaters for that one day that it was out in very few select theaters, mind you, and I was expecting to hear my nostalgic classic Digimon soundtrack from back in the day. I mean, even if they still kept a lot of the Japanese soundtrack, that's totally fine, because again, there's nothing wrong with the Japanese soundtrack, but this is me saying that, me personally, all right, and I'm sure I speak for a lot of y'all out there of Digimon fans. Tell me it's not hype when you heard the, 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 okay, come on, like, you cannot, you cannot, you cannot doubt me on this. Now, I'm gonna give you guys a one better. I'm actually gonna play short clips so that way we're not getting demonetized out here and taken down. 
of how the comparison between butterfly digi um, evolution scenes go with the American um, digi evolution goes. And I say American because I'm not actually sure. I, ne I didn't do um, any extra research to see if like any other territories in the world had that same song as we did or if they had something different. I'm assuming if it was an English version, maybe, I don't know. But I'm gonna say I'm gonna stick with American until I'm corrected or I find it out myself later on. But here we go. First, I'm gonna play you guys how the Japanese version sounds when um, they're about to start digivolving. Okay, like that's a like that's hype, and then you know, and the theme song starts playing, right? Okay, and that's all we get, right? That's it. That's the clip because I'm not trying to get taken down, all right? But that, like, you know, it's a little jingle, you know? You saw me rocking, right? But let me show you how it felt. Let me bring back that nostalgia. Let me let me take you back to the 2000s, all right? When, I, when I'm talking about this Digimon Season 1 adventure, okay? Here we go. This is Digimon. Let's go. Ready? Ah! Uh, yeah! Ah! Uh, you know it's real! Digimon! Uh! By default, it's already hype. It's already automatically hype. It's like it's like that hip hop flow. I don't know bars. It's just it, it has that different feel. Like Butterfly is good in its own right, but like I'm hoping that this time around they really do take into consideration that they bring this original song back. Because let's face it, guys, if they were to get the original voice actors, which they did for Adventure Try for that sequel of Digimon Adventure then why can't they do that for the song too? I'm just saying, that's my that's my hope. That's the one thing that I ask of them to do. And of course, to bring back the original cast and just to make sure that this thing is taken care of very nicely. But hey, that's been all the news. We're getting Digimon crossover with Hatsune Miku in some capacity, and we're quite possibly getting a Digimon adventure reboot all right so let me know you guys think all of that in the comments below like share subscribe you know the drill all that good stuff support your boy by following me everywhere the descriptions are gonna be in the description because i don't know how to say social media and with that being said guys take care of yourselves may the power protect you have yourselves a good one and i'll see y'all next time